everybody, Mr. Miola here, and welcome back to Ark Aberration. We're back <laughs> in the middle of an earthquake, as always. I don't know what it is with this world, but... Or what it is with this world and my recording times, but as soon as I begin recording every single episode, within the first minute or two, we got ourselves an earthquake. So, I guess, uh, I guess that's, uh, it's good to know that the world is still in order exactly how we left it. Or at least, I think it is. Um, but last episode, we went on a pretty failure of an adventure. We went down to the blue, as, uh, I suppose it is cold. Except we went down to the red. We went a little bit too low, and we ended up dying. But what we were looking for was a bit of oil. We ended up giving up. We ended up going past Lachlan's base and, uh, finding a better source of the oil inside one of his chests, and uh, we got enough to get ourselves the Fabricator and ultimately start crafting ourselves the Hazard Suit. Well, as you can see in this inventory uh, right now, I quickly dipped over to our gas collector last night while I was getting a thumbnail for that episode, and, um, well, we're good now. We're good, baby. We're good. <laughs> we got all the gas in the world. The gas collector is actually full. In fact, I, uh, I went and took one of Lachlan's little rafts over there. It's kind of just, just chilling there. It's the, the one that's out of place. It's the only one that doesn't match up with the rest right now. But we ended up with, I think it holds 25 or 35 gas. We took it all. We have all the gas we could possibly need in the world right now. So let's finally get ourselves... Did I turn this thing on or what? Let's finally get ourselves the rest of this suit. Uh, which I think we just go ahead and do like this. Alright, there we go. I also left the fabricator running after last episode. So it burnt through all of our fuel. So I had to get some more of that. So that was a little bit disappointing, but... It is what it is. The last piece, the chest piece, and let's throw throw this stuff on, baby. Let's throw this stuff on. I'm so, I'm guessing we gotta take the glider suit off as well. Um, but let's go. Leggings, the gloves, the boots, the chest piece, and oh, it's got like a head face thing. Why is the thing there? What is that? Oh, there it is. All right, it's coming to view, and yeah, looking good. I can't imagine this being too protective compared to uh you know the metal the flak that we were wearing beforehand but um i guess we don't have a choice now do we what's the armor rating like 65 a piece not bad what if i want to upgrade this in fact while we're here there's one last thing that i want to uh i want to i want to see if we can learn see if we've got the resources for it and that is a zipline motor attachment do i have to learn that in here i do okay <gasps> i don't have electronics though oh, that's disappointing can I craft some electronics? I'm trying to do this while we've still got um, while we've still got the thing going. While we still while we still got the, uh, the, the the single piece of gas in there. I definitely collected some some silica pearls at some stage in this game though, but I don't know where they are. I've definitely had silica pearls. No. Okay. Fine. 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 Uh, I'm trying to think on the spot here. Maybe in here. Nope. Just a lot of sand hats. <laughs> oh, and not in here either. Okay. 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 Alright, well, I want to get this. So how much do we exactly need? We need 15 times 3. 45 silica pearls and 60 metal. Do I even have 60 metal ingots lying around or what? 28. 28. Um, blah, 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 blah. 40. We've got what we need. Alright, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. We need to go on a bit of a metal run, right? And now that we have our hazard suit, as far as I'm aware, we can hit up this little red zone up here that we uh, slightly entered once already and kind of died. So um, we're going to try and test that out. We're going to go check that area out. It's one of the only... Well, I have... It's not one of the only areas I haven't gone to. It's just one of the areas I haven't gone to. Look at this. I barely even uncovered half the map. But we're going to go ahead and do that. That's what we're going to do. That is what I have decided we are going to do. What I'm curious about, though... Do you need the whole set of armor to give you, like, gas resistance? A helmet made from a unique combination of materials that protects the wearer from environmental contaminants. I'm assuming you do need the entire set. But I don't know for certain, you know what I mean? So, hmm. Okay. Well, we'll throw our little wingsuit onto there, because why not? I'm going to bring the extra set of armor just in case that we do need it. Uh, we better take some food with us as well. And I guess, without further ado, let's go and check out this new area. I'm going to take Ripper with me. Because Ripper can carry quite a nice amount of weight. And we can possibly just jump up the side of that cliff over there. I really don't like the view that this thing gives you, but... Not much we can really do about that, unfortunately. All right, Ripper, let's go, buddy. Let's go. I really, really, really want to get this stuff going. So, um, I guess we'll head on over to the little cave region. Who's got the level to level up? 
Aha, he does. We're going to throw this one into melee. Oh, man. I thought it was going to put us over the 200 mark, but not quite. All right, let's go. Up past Pete's base. I love how this guy can jump so high. Like, I don't know what I'd do without him. Oh, it's a little lim like Lyst Lystrosaurus. A little bit of a Listerine right there. Can I make that jump? Not quite. All right, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so where are we heading? I can't even remember where the entrance is. I'm just... 50% sure that it's nearby. In fact, I thought it was back there somewhere. Let's have a quick look at our map. Where are we heading? Okay, maybe it is. Tell me I don't have to climb up there. No, no, no. There is a there is a floor entrance. It must be just over here somewhere. I'm kind of excited to go into this area. It's a, it's a really it's an un unexplored it's unexplored terrain as far as I'm aware. And now that we've got a hazard suit, we're pretty much as far as I'm aware, able to explore anywhere in the world, I think. I think that's how it works, unless there's another super suit, but I don't think there is. There definitely isn't in the Engram. Oh, damn it, I left the fabricator running. I'm going to run out of fuel again. Oh, come on. Oh, I... My mind is thinking about 10 things at a time, constantly. I don't know why that is. It's just one thing to that thing to that thing, and then I never end up finishing the first thing. It's just the way my mind works. It's just the way it all goes. What do you do? What do you do? I also want to go and collect some blue gems because I want to see, yeah, if we can upgrade our armor. I've already spoken about this. We're talking about this before. But first things first, let's find out if we can actually survive in this area. I can already hear the church bells. And every time we've heard church bells up until now, I'm still taking, I'm still taking damage. What? Why am I taking damage? <gasps> Do I need a light source? Do I need a bulb dog? Is that what's up? Because I'm taking damage right now, right? Maybe not? I'm taking one damage at a time. I don't understand this. My arm is fine. I don't think the durability is wearing off at all, which is nice. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I don't understand. Um, but my health is looking just fine. What if I am to like... What else can I do? All right, let's just light one of these things up. See if it is like the same thing that happens with the nameless. How they don't like it. If, you know, you, you need a bulb dog to protect you or whatever or something like that. No, I still take damage. Maybe it's something I've got to deal with. All right, well, I'm not taking that much damage, so it's not the end of the world. Yet. I don't want to go too far in, though. Does this stuff just give me... Oh, oh God! What is that? Is that... That's, that's a freaking nameless, right? It's a nameless. It is a nameless. Oh, okay, then. That scared the absolute bejeebs out of me. All right, okay. Well, if that tells me anything... Oh, Christmas stego over there. Um, I think I gotta find myself a bulb dog. In fact, it's very dark right now. I think I'm gonna find myself a bulb dog if we uh, if we hope to survive this little adventure in there. That's all I can think of right now. Do we have any bulb dogs over here? I've tamed up so many of these little guys. They really don't have a lot of luck in my tribe. They really have no luck at all. In fact, um, bulb dogs. Oh man, we got a fat mole rat. Actually, on second thoughts, we may have another solution at hand. I'm pretty sure one of these mushrooms, I don't know which one, actually protects us. I don't know for certain if that is a thing, but I'm going to try it just in case. It's worth the shot. Even if we can just go into the entrance, hit a couple rocks without dying, that'd be lovely. Or without those nameless, just absolutely mobbing us. All right, I don't need those ones. I need the, uh, I got a feeling. Okay, no. False alarm. It's just music. It's all good. I think we need these ones here. Oh, wait, no. Oh, God, he actually came out. Hey, what are you doing out here? You're not supposed to be out here. What if I use this? Does this protect me? Nope. It did nothing. It did nothing. Leave me alone. Oh, God. There's more of them. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Why do these guys spawn out here now? What is... What? What? You guys are meant to be out here. Are they? Can we do damage with you, buddy? No, you can't do much damage either. All right. Well, this is bad. I feel like I've just unleashed a plague on the world. I've unleashed the plague of the nameless upon... Oh, no. Just leave me be, baby. Leave me be. Leave me be. I swear one of these is supposed to give me some form of protection. Maybe not. Nah, you know what? We can't do it. Ripper has... Ripper has no power here. We just gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get ourselves a bulb dog. 
It turns out the hazard suit, all the hazard suit does is keep us alive. Like, not really even alive. All the hazard suit does is reduce the radiation. That ain't enough. Alright. Target acquired. Now, I need you, buddy. I'm sorry to put you in this situation. <laughs> Everyone who has come before you has unfortunately suffered an inevitable fate. I hope you were the first one to prove them all that it was their fault. And not my dinosaurs. I, this can't go well. This isn't going to go well. But come on, buddy. I got one more mushroom for you. And then you're coming on an adventure to uh, a very dangerous place with me. But you're going to love it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I promise. I promise. I'll even give you a nice name. I'll even give you a nice name to show how much you mean to me. Come over here, Ripper. Come over here. There we go. Because Lachlan never named his bulb dogs Bulbasaur, we're calling it Bulbasaur. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's go. Um, I was actually talking to Lachlan about it. I think it was during the, the stream that we did. And um, I was saying that the whole reason I never named a bulb dog Bulbasaur because I left it for Lachlan. Because I assumed Lachlan's mind jumps straight into Pokemon every time whenever he's naming anything. That uh, he just go in that direction. But it turns out, no. Didn't even cross his mind. Didn't even cross his mind. So uh, I'm taking the name. Even though I kind of probably should have chosen a green one. But it's all good. It's all good. He looks close enough anyways. Let's try this again. We're going to head back up into the cave. Maybe this time we don't take damage with the little light bulb going. Who knows? But at least the nameless shouldn't be an issue this time. Well, at least they will like burn in the sun. I don't even know how this thing works. They might burn a little bit this time. We'll see what happens. All right, take two. Let's do this thing. <laughs> I think we can just... Nope, that's how we wave. I want to clap you. There you go. All right, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Should probably save his energy until we get in there, but it's all good. We know that Nameless can spawn out. Oh, come on, Stamina. We don't have time for this. My bulb dog. He only got so much of a charge left in him. Whenever you're ready, Stamina, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, fingers crossed we don't take damage this time. Still take damage. In fact, he does as well. And I think I heard... Oh, what? These don't give us... They didn't give me metal! I thought these rocks give me metal! I don't want to run much further in either. Well, I guess we don't have a choice. We're just gonna go for it. Cross our fingers. Hope for the best. Is this a metal rock? Oh! Oh, I'm not taking damage anymore! Oh! Metal! Oh, hallelujah, baby! Hallelujah! That's what I'm talking about! That is what I am talking about! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, we got a lot of useless stuff. I'm ditching the stone as well. We do not need stone. Oh, you know, I'll keep the fiber. We seem to always need fiber. Oh my god, we have a massive metal source near our base now. Now uh, we can actually get to because we have the hazard suit. Oh, this has made my day. This has made my day. All right, how much can you carry? Oh, you can carry a lot. All right, sweet. We're going to leave with like a thousand metal. Take it home. Let that stuff smelt. Um, and then we, then we're all good. It's just good to know my hazard suit works. I'm trying to think, what was the last resource that we needed to get the zip line? It was metal, wasn't it? I guess it was. I just wanted to explore how this actual hazard suit works. I'm still confused why I take damage over there, but not over here. But now that we're not taking damage, I'm also not really too concerned. Let's keep going. I kind of want to... Wow, this thing's massive. Oh, I heard something. Wow, why is it so bright over there now? <laughs> what in the world? This is sc I don't... I don't know if I should keep going. I don't know if I should keep going. I don't know what's down there. I don't know how much light our bulb dog's still got on him. I just want to get the metal and get out of here. We'll save this for like a trek with Lachlan or something. Like oh, I didn't even have to get off. Oh! I don't even have to get off Ripper. I can just do it from his back. Has that always been a thing? Oh my god, this changes everything. This changes everything. Alright, we can take a little bit more. Not too much more. A little bit. A little bit. Alright. Take that. Ditch the stone. Uh, we, but he can still take another hundred. Hopefully a little bit more if possible. Alright, how we looking, buddy? How we looking? Good. Drop the rest. Um, I think he's good. That's pretty much like full speed, right? Uh, 
He's running. He's struggling a bit. He's definitely struggling a bit. He can't carry all of this weight. And I really got nothing. You know what? We're, not, we're never going to need a parachute again. We've got our glider. But why are we so slow? You were running faster than this a second ago. And now we're taking damage again. It must be those massive rocks up there that's doing it. Oh! Oh, there's Nameless! Oh, because our bulb dog's light went off. Lighten up, my boy. Lighten up. All right. You know what? You may as well take care of them. We got our little light stuff going on or whatever. I don't really know what happens or whatever, but we're doing it. See you later, you stinking little bugs. All right. There was another one, but we're all good. Let's go. Let's take this stuff home. Get ourselves the zipline anchor. And then I suppose we can actually start having some proper fun with the ziplines. So we got a lot of metal now. That Oh, that's what I needed over there. That would have given me the uh, the sunlight effect that I was looking for. That plant. The one that saved us when we went to the blue last time. But yeah, as I was saying, now that we pretty much got like unlimited cementing paste, we got like unlimited metal close to the base. We don't have to run too far to get. Uh, we can really start expanding our bases, getting a lot of zip lines going across the place. We can get ourselves the little pan zip line. That means we can pull ourselves upwards, not just swing downwards now. So this is going to be really, really cool. We are back. From outer space. You know what I'm actually tempted to do? I'm tempted to put a a door right here so we can literally just load in the metal straight into our base without having to like do multiple trips and that sort of thing. Because, oh, you can actually walk through that door now. I swear he couldn't do that beforehand. Oh, that's cool. That'll save us a lot of time. A lot of effort. Sweet. All right. Wow. Give me all of that metal. Okay. It's actually not as much as I thought it was. <laughs> 654, 654. Okay, so we're going to get 654 ingots out of, uh, well, out of that entire run, really. So we got a lot of metal. It's not like a life-changing amount, but it's a good start. Um, this thing here is still running. How many fuel? I burnt through two of them, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Um, oh, that's right. We wanted to go and get silica pearls. You know what? I'll turn you off. I'll turn you off. You sit right there, buddy. You sit right there. Um, I also need some of this. Throw half of you into there. Latch you up. Throw the other half into there. Latch you up. Um, and I think we only needed like 45 silica pearls all up. So let's go and get these things. I know that there's a bunch nearby. Um, I'm pretty sure they just kind of like line up around the border over there. In fact, I want to kind of switch out my armor real quick. Because just in case we get attacked by something that's actually dangerous, I don't feel like dying. I really don't feel like dying. I don't want to die. I don't want to die today. Okie dokie. Um, there we go. I can see some right now. Right off the coast. Right here. Oh, it's two of them. I saw some more over there as well. Okay. 45, I think, is all we needed. 42. Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. We got two of them right here. All right. No. Uh, is that an earthquake? Okay. Earthquakes aren't good when you're in water because it, like, throws you around everywhere. But we're all good. Okay. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Well, we got about 200 silica pearls. Are there any more, like, right here anywhere? What's that down there? Oh, it's fish. I wonder if you can get trilobites down here. That'd be a good way of getting oil if you can. Um, it doesn't appear to be any more silica pearls, unfortunately. No, I think we're good. I think we got that, like, all we're going to get, like, right near the base anyways. So let's go and get ourselves a zipline anchor now. All right, let's go get some electronics going. Alrighty, so, to the best of my knowledge, we throw these into here. Um, I want to make, you know what, let's just make 20 of these. Pull the resources across. Oh, we got to turn it on, of course. Throw the extra fuel in. Throw the extra fuel in and craft 20 of them. So we got 20 of them on the way right now. And then all we are going to need after this, we've got the blue gems, thankfully. Um, 60, 60 metal, which I'm pretty sure we should have about 50 in here, right? 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 40. Ooh, we're only just short. We got this one in here, though. Oh, only eight here. Is that enough? Or do we have to wait for a little bit to smelt? Four. Oh, because we're... I forgot. We're actually using it to create the electronics at the same time, aren't we? All right. Well, that's all good. 31 in here. I didn't even know we had 40 in there. I did not take notice of that before. There we go. So once these final two electronics are done, our zip light, what's it called? A zip line motor attachment skin. Chop, chop, buddy. Chop, chop. I can't wait. 
It is completed. All right. Nice. Nice. Turn you off. Come back outside. I want to test this thing out though. Oh, what's the percentage thing? What's the percentage thing? Does it need to be fueled? Oh, gasoline. What? Oh, of course, because it's like a mo- Oh, okay then. All right. So let's take our gasoline out. What do I have to do? Just fill it up with one whole gasoline thing. And then we just throw it on. Does it like do a little... Does it show up on our pants? Like, are we wearing it on our pants? Oh, is that is that it there? Just kind of hanging over our pants there? Oh, yes, it is. Interesting. Oh, yeah. All right. So it's like a big old brace thing. Um, trying to think. What would be the best way for us to test this? Oh, I have an idea. Might take us a while to get there. What if we... All right, I'd like to swim upwards, please. What if we were to go and get Charlie? Problem is... Oh, uh, a few basilisks on the way, all right? Oh, yeah, right there. Right there. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, he's already seen me. I'm not even close. Come on, give me a break. He knows I'm here. Oh, he's gonna come for my raptor. He's gonna- Oh, God, he's right there. Oh, come on, not like this, not like this, not like this. What did I do to deserve this? Oh, I can't even save my aberrant raptor. Oh, no, no. I hate snakes and spy- oh. yeah, I'm sure you guys can- Oh, no. Oh, gosh. He's got my raptor. Well, you- Oh. I don't think the basilisk is hitting him. <laughs> I don't think the basilisk is hitting him. I think he's too small. He can't reach him. Oh my gosh, this changes everything. Look at him going to town on him. He's going to absolute town on him. How much health does a basilisk have? We could kill a basilisk. Oh no, he's doing damage now. What if I run away? What if I run away? No, he killed him. I think I got too close. I also am a little bit worried because all he has to do is go around. Oh snap. He's gonna, he's gonna get to all the other dinosaurs. Unless we distract him. Come over here, buddy. Oh no, he's just gonna chill right there. Lachlan's gonna die to that. That is way too close to home. I've gotta distract him. I've gotta get his attention. We've gotta do it. We've just gotta do it. I gotta zigzag. We gotta zigzag. We can't pull a Rick on Stark. We can't just run in a straight line. But for the safety of everybody, we gotta get him away from this wall. I think, you know what? That's close enough. <laughs> That's close enough. All right. We're going to keep on going now. We're going to keep on going. Whew. All right. Well, we escaped the first basilisk. Unfortunately, we know that there's at least like two more. To the best of my knowledge. Up at this mountain a little bit further. So that's a little bit disappointing. But, well, such is life. Okay. This is where we're going to start being a little bit cautious. Cautious. Because there are two basilisks roaming around somewhere up here. I'm going to assume that they attack wild dinosaurs as well. So maybe if we stick to them, they'll get distracted. And oh, Okay, that's just a track. Literally everything I see is scaring me right now. Um, we might be okay, is what I'm trying to say. We might be all right. I'm just going to keep my eyes open. Stay alert. And make sure I have enough stamina to outrun one of these guys, should the time arrive where I need to run. I hope, I hope, I hope I just got enough water. In fact, I gotta get myself a canteen soon, I think, because our thirst really doesn't go too well in aberration. Okay, I see one right there to the right. There's one of them. We gotta stay well away from him. Well away from him. And as far as I'm aware, I think there's gonna be another one up here. I'm pretty sure we did leave one up here at least. Where that is, I do not know. My guess is going to be down there a little bit. Alright, now we're good. Alright, I'll avoid the scorpions. Who needs, who needs to fight a scorpion? I have no idea where the other basilisk is, to be honest. I don't know. I haven't seen his tail yet, and I'm not going to feel safe until I do. Really? Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm having stamina troubles here, mate. I'm having stamina troubles. Leave me alone. Thank you. My stamina is still not good. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. What's going on over there? 
Ravages, perhaps? Yep, I think so. Okay, there he is. There he is. We've spotted our friend. All right. Well, oh, you know what I should do? I should just glide. That's what I should be doing. That's what I'm going to do. As soon as I get to the edge of this cliff, I'm gliding all the way down. Until we find our boy. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Charlie should be, like, right here, right? Yeah! All right, Charlie! What's going on, dude? So, I actually had... I, you know what? All right. Ride zipline motor. So, we were using... Um, oh, my God, the gas. You went through it so fast. And you can stop halfway. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that. So, that's how it works. It's mechanical instead of... And, and I'm assuming I can go upwards as well, right? Please? Otherwise... <laughs> Please let me back up. Ride zipline motor. There we go. Okay, we can go upwards as well. All right, sweet. So that's how the zipline motor works. I wanted to test it out. We managed to do that. Um, but there's something else I want to try out because I had a lot of people. I had. I was reading through the comments on this episode and I had people kind of like getting upset because I didn't know how to run on the zipline with that guy right here. Apparently, it has something to do with the crosshair showing up. But it's a little bit funny. We gotta like get it perfect. So where's this where's the crosshair? I, I just saw it a second ago. How's it work? There we go. That's the one. How's it work? Alright, there's the zip. There's there's the thing. Jump. Oh snap! There you go. Alright! Okay! That's cool. And then you jump off. Can you go the other way as well? I kinda hope so. Oh, wait, I gotta jump. Yeah, no kidding. Ooh. Ooh. I like this. I like that a lot. All right, well, I'm glad I worked that... Oh, well, I wish I'd worked that out last time. Um, Would have saved us having to come back all the way out here and get Charlie. But still pretty cool nonetheless. Just trying to work out where we are in the scheme of the map. I wonder if we can make our way back through this, this direction. I'm just gonna get my, my crosshair. Where's the crosshair at? Yeah, man. That didn't work. What a weird system. I'm surprised, like, of all ways to do it, this is how they, they decided to implement this feature. Come on. There it is. Got him. All right. Slide away, my little Charlie. Slide away. There we go. Oh, that's right. We got our bed out here as well, don't we? I've completely forgot we left the bed out here. In fact, I have no idea where that bed is. Um, okay. Can hear those church bells ringing. It's what, whatever's going on up there. That's where those church bells are coming from. I don't understand the point of the church bells. I don't understand why you take damage from it either. But I guess it is what it is. What am I going to do about it? Alright, so last time, was it this one or another one that we couldn't actually... One of these, the game didn't let us run across or, or slide across or whatever. Yeah, I know where we are. I think. Oh, snap. We're a lot further than I thought we were. Yeah, this is the one that we couldn't slide across. I think we just glided across the map from here. Um, but... This is roughly where we were collecting gas last episode. Or two episodes ago. Um, this is wh roughly where we are doing that. You know what would be cool? If you could glide while jumping down with a dinosaur. Now that would be cool. It doesn't look like that's possible. Um, alright, where are we? Where are we? Where am I? We're coming down on the river. Yeah, I know where we are. Oh, snap. Okay, we got a pack of ravages here. We got a pack of ravages. Uh, okay, fine. Come on. You wanna go? Oh, snap, this is going bad. No, no, no. No, no, no. Come on. Where is it? Get off of him. Kill, killed one. Where's the other one at? I can barely run. Oh, you piece of trash. I think we're good. Oh my god, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Uh, okay, no. I'm gonna get out of here, though. He's only got like 100 health. Holy moly, that was way too close. We got raptors and ravages and all sorts out here. Okay, this is not a safe area to be right now. Especially with such low health. Alright. Let's drop down here, shall we? Nice. What's going on? Oh, more ravages. More ravages. They're just tearing everybody up as well. Okay. Well, don't mind me. I'm just gonna walk around you all. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, that was way too close to Cole. I mean, I was fine, but I don't want to be losing another dinosaur. Not Charlie. Definitely not Charlie. Charlie's been through a lot. All right, to the, to the best of my knowledge, our gas thing should be fully loaded again. In fact, it should just... Oh, wait a second. Is it up here, or do we have a little bit further to go? <gasps> oh, gosh. Charlie needs to eat. Charlie, like, really needs to eat. Look how low its food is. Okay, we gotta kill something. We need some meat. There's, like, no dinosaurs or anything nearby. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. I don't want this guy to starve. There's nothing around either. Oh, no. No stamina, no health, no food, no nothing. It was so... Ooh. Can I take on a Spino? I'm gonna try. I don't think we got a choice. But, thankfully, we're back in our gas collector. Let's go ahead and collect all of that. We got all the gas in the world right now. Thing is, things, are, things are great. Things are good. I, unfortunately, though, have a Spino to take out. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. I can take you out. One on one. Mano e mano. Three arrows. Oh, wait. No, I need him to come. I need you to come to me. Oh, no. I need his meat. Is he coming back for more? Come on, mate. Come on. Come on, mate. I'll take you out hand to hand. Let's go. Are you scared? I think he's scared. What's he doing? Oh, man. Well, that didn't really solve our, our hunger issues now, did it? I guess we just gotta pray we find a dodo instead. Or a parasaur. I guess that's gonna have to do. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Give in to me. Nope, don't run away. Don't run away. I can't keep up with you. I can't keep up with you. Come on. Yeah, there we go. There's your meat, buddy. Get it into ya. Get it into ya, son. All right, that's enough. No, Charlie, no, 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 no. No! No! <laughs> I even delivered the finishing blow. What a horrible owner I am. Oh, Charlie was the one. We came on this whole mission to save Charlie. All for nothing. All for nothing. Drop your Fs in chat. Press F to pay respect. Press F to pay respect. Ah, home is sweet. Home. Unfortunately, we're a dinosaur short, but it is what it is. Oh, what do you do? It's sad. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little bit upset about it, but it is what it is. Such is life. Dinosaurs. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hey there. Hey, oh, just one blue gem is all you're going to give me. Ah, uh, well, we need a bunch more blue gems if we're going to upgrade this hazard armor to make it a little bit stronger. But on that note, oh! We actually came home with a dinosaur! Bulbasaur survived the madness. I completely forgot we got him. Anyways, guys, we're ending this one right here. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to go ahead and punch the thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs up. And tomorrow, I believe, I am going to be trying to do a stream with Lachlan on YouTube. So keep an eye out for that one there, okay? Um, gonna try and do some YouTube streams with Lachlan. He really wants to do them, so we'll do them! Until then, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one very, very soon. Bye. Bye now.